The commander of Iran's powerful Revolutionary Guard has said there will be retaliation for an airstrike he blames on Israel that has destroyed Iran's consulate in Syria, killing 12 people. In Tehran, thousands turned out to attend a funeral for seven members of the Guard, including two senior generals who were killed in the blast. Marchers chanted death to America and death to Israel. Clashes between Israel and Iran-backed Hezbollah along the Israeli-Lebanese border have increased since the war in Gaza began nearly six months ago. And that is just part of the story. Let's get some more analysis now with Ali Fatullah Najad. He is the director of the Center for Middle East and Global Order here in Berlin. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. So Israel has not commented on this strike, but Iran clearly thinks Israel is behind it. We've seen a Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei vowing to punish Israel. How likely do you think an Iranian military response is? Well, it is quite obvious that um, this Israeli strike has put the Iranian side into a dilemma. Uh, first of all, it's not the first heavy blow that uh, Israel has uh, imposed upon Iran through targeted assassinations against high-ranking uh, Revolutionary Guards figures, but also other collaborators uh, of uh, Iran. For instance, we've had uh, Aruri in uh, uh, Beirut, we had Musavi, uh, you know, the Musavi killing, also the highest ranking in Syria, uh, you know, highest ranking in Revolutionary Guard uh, commander in Syria that was also uh, targeted um, around the turn of the year. So this is, uh, you know, the continuation of a series of such attacks. And this puts uh, the Iranian side into a dilemma because, first of all, it is really showing Iranian vulnerability here. Uh, and um, on the other hand, Iran cannot really strike, uh, you know, uh, at the same level because it would then be very careful not to provoke Israel into an all-out war, which would pit Iran against Israel and or the United States. And this such a great war would pose a danger to regime stability. So it's a dilemma for the Iranian side. So Iran not able to strike at the same level as you say, but do you think we may see Iran carry out any kind of attacks in response? And if so, what would the most likely targets be? I mean, so far we've seen that also in the context of the Gaza war, Iran has been, uh, you know, using its proxies in the region to uh, confront Israel. It has refrained from confronting Israel directly. Um, so this proxy network, you know, the so-called axis of resistance could be activated uh, for such a retaliation, be it, uh, you know, via the Houthis, you know, against, you know, striking uh, Israel from uh, Yemen or via Hezbollah in Lebanon or via uh, Iraqi militias, uh, be it uh, in Iraq or in Syria. Or else, uh, there's also another option to target uh, Israeli, uh, you know, interests uh, in the region, but also beyond, and perhaps also including Jewish institutions. So there is a whole, uh, you know, uh, a whole uh, range of possibilities here for Iran to respond. But the main problem here is that there is now, uh, you know, this crisis of uh, legit, uh, the crisis of uh, of Iran within the context of the Gaza war is even fortified because Iran, there has been some frustration within the supporter base of the regime inside the country, but also regionally among the axis of resistance about Iranian reluctance to attacks by Israel in the context of the Gaza war against also Iran. So there is, a, you know, there is a high level of frustration uh, about Iranian credibility um, of being really the, you know, the, the, the main supporter of the Palestinian cause and about Iranian reluctance to confront uh, Israel directly. So uh, this is something that the Iranian side has to deal with. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights. That is Ali Fatola Najad, director of the Center for Middle East and Global Order. We very much appreciate your time. Thank you.